What's going on guys, it's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm going to show you how to overclock the AMD Athlon 200GE to 3.9 GHz. I'm also going to go over some performance gains we can get by doing this because the stock clock on this CPU is 3.2 GHz and unfortunately we cannot overclock the built-in Radeon Vega 3 graphics. So we're not going to see a major improvement in the frame rate on certain games, but there are games that will benefit from this by having a faster CPU out of the box. A lot of the motherboard manufacturers have unlocked the multiplier on the 200GE. And to tell you the truth, I'm not sure if every single motherboard will support this, but as long as you have an MSI or a Gigabyte board, you should be good to go. If you have another board and you're able to overclock, just let me know in the comments below so I can throw it in the description. The stock clock on the 200GE is 3.2 GHz. We're going to increase this by 700 MHz, which will increase power consumption and heat. I'm using the stock cooler in a very small form factor case, and I haven't hit thermal throttle, but it does get a bit hotter than it does when it's stock. So with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and overclock this CPU. First thing we need to do is reboot the system and enter our BIOS. You will need to check with your manufacturer on how to get into your BIOS, but usually it's the delete key or F2. I'm using this gigabyte board, so all I have to do is press delete a couple times while the system's booting. It'll bring me right into the BIOS settings. Your BIOS may look a little different from mine, but if you're running a Gigabyte board, we should be on the same page here. If not, you do need to search for the option Advanced Frequency Settings or Advanced CPU Settings. And on some boards, it may just be listed as Overclocking Settings. So we're going to enter Advanced Frequency Settings. From this menu, we need to find CPU Clock Ratio. It could also be known as CPU Multiplier. It's set at 32, which will give us a 3.2 GHz base clock. We want to set this to 39, 39.00. This will bring the CPU up to 3.9 gigahertz. So they've unlocked the multiplier, but there's not much else we can change here. Even if we go to overclock our RAM, it's still going to max out at 2667. And we can't even change the CPU voltage settings. So it's going to be set at auto, but that's perfectly fine. 99% of these chips are going to work fine at 3.9 gigahertz. I've actually been able to bring this one up to four, but it did crash on me after about 20 minutes of use. So I think the sweet spot here is 3.9 gigahertz. We don't have to change anything else. As soon as we save and exit back into Windows, we have overclocked from 3.2 to 3.9. So let's go ahead and find save and exit, save and exit setup. Make sure you confirm by pressing yes, and our system will reboot, and we're now overclocked. A really easy way to tell that the overclock stuck is just press Control shift escape This is going to bring up the Task Manager. Go to Performance, and right here, you'll see we're at 3.89. So we're right there at 3.9 GHz. So you're done overclocking the 200GE. Now it's time to test out the performance. Like I mentioned, since we're not able to overclock the GPU, we're not going to gain much in gaming. But in everyday task and just the overall feel of the PC should be faster. I run a bunch of tests at the stock speed versus the overclock speed. I'm going to go ahead and throw some charts up now. The first test I ran was the Heaven benchmark. And this was really surprising because we scored exactly the same. 3.2 gigahertz, we scored a 302, minimum FPS of 9, maximum FPS of 22.3. And overclock, we scored a 302. Minimum FPS of 9 and maximum FPS of 22.6. But this is a very GPU intensive test here. We're mainly testing out the GPU with the Heaven benchmark and we weren't able to overclock that. I'm going to leave you with a few more comparison charts here. I'll be back at the end to give you my final thoughts on overclocking the 200GE.
So is the 200 GE worth overclocking? In my opinion, it definitely is. We're not going to see a big performance boost in gaming, but in everyday tasks and CPU intensive applications, we're going to see a decent peak there. Now you might have noticed that the CPU temperature went up quite a bit when we overclocked the 3.9. I mean, that's normal when overclocking, we're adding more power here. But the setup that this was run in is very small form factor. I have that stock cooler, which should be fine, but if you have more space inside of your case with more fans, you probably won't hit those temperatures that you saw here. That's pretty much it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out my other 200GE videos. I've done some emulation testing. I've done some PC gaming testing. And now we've done some overclocking. If there's anything else you want to see running on this APU, just let me know in the comments below and I'll add it in on the next video. Really appreciate you guys watching. If you want to build a similar system, I'm going to leave links in the description. And like always, thanks for watching.